Hello all, welcome to Think Automation YouTube channel. If you want to learn more about Tosca, Qtus and other Tricentis products, then this is the right place for you. Please hit the subscribe button to get more content like this. Alright, our topic for the day will be Tosca Copilot. We'll see how AA features are implemented in Tricentis Tosca in the latest release. Without further delay, let's get into the actual demo so that you will get more information. So there are three major features that are introduced as part of Tosca Copilot. So what are all they? They are all will be how you can get the insights from your execution list, how you can um, get more information about your test case, how you can write SQL query in a very easy format. Those are the three major features that we are going to see that is implemented recently. Right. How you have to launch the Tosco Copilot? The Tosco Copilot will be uh, part of our installation bundle itself if you are installing 2024.1. Otherwise, you can go to support portal and download Tosco Copilot add in separately. And that involves separate license as well. Right. So if you come to once you launch your Tosca commander, if you come to add on page, you will see the Tosca copilot. So once you click that, it will ask you to authenticate. The authentication credentials will be your Tosca cloud credentials. As of now, I have authenticated already. So that is why it is getting connected automatically. So otherwise you need to authenticate with the Tosca cloud credential. That is a required one for this, right? Once you launch this, you will see three sections. These are all the three features that are introduced as part of Copilot now and further features will be introduced in future as well. Right. We go through one by one. We'll just keep aside now. The okay. first feature, how you can explain your test case. So I'm just going to my test case. This is my sample test case where I'm going through Google search page and searching for ABC. If you right click any test case, you will see new option called Tosco Copilot and you will see option called explain this test. When you click that chatbot will uh, go through the your test case and it will try to analyze this case and list down what are all parameters and what are all things checks you are performing inside the test case. Right now it says you are performing Google search with ABC and opening Google home page. Okay. So this feature will be very much useful if you're having some 50 or hundreds of test steps in your same test case then you will not know what is happening inside the test case in a ac format so in that case if you, you can just come here and right click and explain this test case that will give you more information about your test case right we are just going to see one more sample now for this for a json array how this is going to display Right, the chatbot is now analyzing the full array test case under JSON. Let's give it a minute. Right now, it gives a response saying that you are analyzing, creating a JSON array, populates with data, and saving and whatever you are doing in the test case. All those information is correctly given by the Tosca. Right, the next feature will be you can get your execution result insights. For a particular execution list for example i have some test case passed failed all those stuff there are um, 11 12 test cases under this execution list so if i right click this execution list i will see option called tosco copilot and you'll see further option get execution insights once i click that this will start to analyze the execution list and will it will give more information about the execution list so assume that you have a valid business process end to end test case at the time it will give you more useful information for you. So where it is, what are all test cases is contained, named JSON, the latest execution result is completed with following outcome. If, if anyone is failed, then it, it will use to give the what is the exact failure. Now it, it just uh, for example purpose, I made it a failure status. That's the reason it's giving unknown status. Otherwise, it will give you exactly failure status in this page. Due to this error, it will is getting failed. Something like that. You you will give you useful information. It will also which give you execution history 
for this execution list if you execute the same execution list multiple times so that you can get the trend of the execution list of your feature uh, what was passed was was failure over the time period right the last and most interesting feature will be writing tql query to write a tql query um, by default you know that tql query is not that much user friendly you need to write complex syntax to get some useful results for your query for example if you are doing a review purpose what are all test cases that is not there in completed status what are all execution list entries that is getting passed last week or last month or last regression release those kind of useful tql queries you need to frame with a complex format so now it is made as easier with the help of ai capability right now what i'm going to do i'm going to click the third icon okay that is nothing but we're plain language to tql so i'm hitting this icon so now you can you can uh, do some natural conversation like chat gpt and other ai tools to tosca and that will form you the tql query for you complex tql query for you there are already suggestion given by tricentis that you can see number of uncompleted test case number of requirement that is not paid it, it, it will work not only in test case and the execution list it will work throughout the tosca you can implement in module you can implement in uh, requirement test case everywhere everywhere it is completely integrated right so what i am going to do i am going to do some example queries i'm gonna hide this suggestion now i'm gonna to do my own queries now okay to do that what you need to do i'm gonna i'm just taken some sample okay some real-time sample that i want to do query the first example will be how you need to i'm uh, just writing a, a simple statement saying that find the test cases that are using open url standard module okay you can you can just replace it with your own name of the module for example you have some module in your own application so you want to see what are all test cases using that module so that you can if you make a change what are all test cases is going to impact it for example if a feature is um, introduced to change a specific value in a specific phase then you are going to rescan the module and you are going to update the test case now what are all the impacted test cases that you want to see so to do that you will you will you will usually query these kind of stuff right so typically we'll go and write sub parts super parts of all those query now i'm writing to chatbot saying that find me query something like that so the chatbot is now analyzing my statement and it is giving the valid query now now you can see return supports all the queries is written by chatbot itself where it says it will return the test case which has the module name as open url here you can replace with any module name that you have in your application and then you can easily go and query that okay either you can simply copy from from the response itself or you have the copy option here itself where i'm just going to do in in, in any part of the uh, tosca i can do this query so i'm just making the search now uh, right just copy pasting this this give me list of test cases the search is the only test case that is using open url module now so this is the one so even I, if i change the test of name which is not same as the open url the module name even though it is it's not matching the system will find out the test case correct right so you you have a tosca copilot and you have one more option here right the search icon the moment if you the moment you click that okay i am here at test case level now the moment i click that it will automatically initiate this query you no need to copy paste the moment i'm just closing this once again i'm just going back to tosca copilot i'm just clicking this search icon automatically in the back end it, it do the search for you okay so these are all the useful navigation that you can have either you can copy paste and do it at later type or you can directly initiate your search from here itself all right let's go to next couple of example and try to walk you through i'm just taking some meaningful queries uh, in your real time the next query will be 
I'm just asking Tosca, what are all past test cases last week and failed test cases this week? So that there will be a situation mostly like some features or some test cases are passed in past and it is failing in the newer run uh, with, with the help of latest code change. So you want to identify those stuff. Okay, previously you, you need to write complex query. Now you can just ask the Tosca. Tosca will give back the required SQL query for you. Now the chatbot is analyzing. Let's give it a minute. And after that, we'll get your SQL query. From that, we can make use of that. Right, it is still going on. Okay, so you can see that a very complex query with intersection and all it has written and this query will perfectly work for you. If you look at this query, there are two parts. Okay, first part will be the last week date, right? You can go and modify this date if you have different preference in your project. And second part will be the identify the failure test case in this week, which is containing the current week timeline. You can always change this and you can make search from here itself. So this is how you can get, get the very complex SQL query formed as well with the help of Tosca Copilot now, right? So these are all things that we usually see it in UI. The third use case I wanted to, to give you more insights, okay? We, we never uh, write these kind of queries in our lifetime SQL. Generally, we'll write what are all test cases or execution list, past, fail, all those stuff we used to write. But here, if you see test case that is having a TCP for browser, I'm having a TCP for my test case, which is browser equal to Chrome, uh, which, which will be for multiple test cases. Multiple test cases will be having browser equal to Chrome. Assume that you have some custom TCP. Uh, you have the environment equal to UAT. You want to find out the list of test cases that is having um, UAT test cases or SAT or staging, whatever environment that you are using. In that case, it, you can put a filter by your TCP as well. Okay, in real time, you you will not see this in SQL format or SQL handbook everywhere. But the AI can do you can do that for you. Here you can see it is returning a test case. You see eval CP browser equal to Chrome. Here you can change the TCP name as per your wish and the value as per your wish, and you can ex just exactly execute the same query, right? This eval CP is nothing but it is coming from the Tosca code. We we might not directly know how this is working. I'm just copying this query. I'm just gonna verify this whether this query is correctly working or not. So I'm just copy pasting this now. Okay, let me change this to H. Um, I'm gonna add the test configuration parameter now to it, and then uh, we can have a check. Let's give it a minute so that we'll we'll verify what is coming out from Tosca Copilot and how much useful this is. All right, I'm just adding a TCP now to it. Browser equal to H. Right, I'm just executing the same query now. Now you see, it gives me the result for the H. I'm just changing this to Chrome now. Now it will not give my result. I'm just changing my TQL query again to Chrome. Now it is giving the correct. So with this, we can confirm that the query perfectly working fine, uh, whatever the response we are getting. The final um, example I have for TQL query will be this one. I'm writing one more query now. List of test cases that are created by uh, Robert the person in my team and not in completed status. Usually we want to verify what are all test cases created by someone in team member and that is um, completed or not the status. Those kind of stuff we are uh, will be doing for as part of the review. Now here you can say I have given with the, some um, spelling mistake. This is by intentional so that you can you can get the capability of Tosca uh, Copilot and we'll see how it is re uh, reacting for the spelling mistake everything like we do with chat GPT. So now it is uh, a bot is thinking. Let's give it a minute. 
okay so it is still going on just closing this feedback yeah it returns the value correctly for the response created by equal to robert and this case work state is not equal to completed super wow yeah it handles all those spelling mistake all the real time scenario practical scenario it handles the complex scenario like tcp as well so it is a much needed and useful addition to your tosca the tosca copilot aa features right with that i i will be uh, uh, closing the to topic today yeah please uh, comment your questions or doubts uh, in the comment section i will be able to help you with your all your questions yeah thanks a lot bye bye